Good morning. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today we're going to continue on in Colossians. Um, my study today uh, focused on verses 4 through 7. And those that were with us yesterday, you, um, we covered verses 1 through 3. So verse 4, and this again is in my new, um, starting my new season in the Complete Jewish Study Bible. Um, because I always like to try different, um, different translations, um, and compare them. So I have a bunch. Um, so verse 4, it is written, I say this so that no one will fool you with plausible but specious arguments. For although I am away from you physically, I am with you in spirit, rejoicing as I see the disciplined and resolute firmness of your trust in the Messiah. Therefore, just as you received the Messiah Yeshua as Lord, keep living your life united with him. Remain deeply rooted in him. Continue being built up in him and confirmed in your trust, the way you were taught, so that you overflow in thanksgiving. So first off, specious. I needed to look it up because I wanted to make sure what specious is. Because if you're going through and you have a word that pops out at you or that you're not sure you're you're clear of the um, of the exact meaning look it up because you'll be amazed sometimes that'll take you on a whole nother level or um, trail that will bring enlightenment that's amazing so when I looked up specious um, is defined as having a false look of truth or genuineness superficially possible but actually wrong Misleading in appearance, especially misleadingly attractive, having deceptive attraction or showy. So, specious arguments. Okay, well, that's one to take note of, especially in today's times where, oh my goodness, you get on Facebook and people are, I don't even care if they're for the same thing, they will go off and just pick an argument, just to pick an argument. I don't understand that. Um, but they do and it's amazing and so I try to avoid those because it just doesn't bring peace in my spirit um, for though, though I am away from you physically I'm with you in spirit okay so I can totally understand where Paul's coming from on this because with our life calling and with the Lord having us on the road traveling um, I don't have that root I don't have where I grew up and lived in the same house or that I got married and raised my children in the same house, uh, that I had the same neighbors for eons. Um, I didn't, I don't have that. Um, that's not the life that I have been called to, at least not at the present moment. Um, would I like to have it? I don't know. Maybe, but I'm kind of one of those things. I just live where I'm at and I look for the positive in, in the situation where I'm at, and I don't find out till after it's all over whether I was really happy and content. Well, I was always content there, but whether it was the, the best place for me or not. So I understand this um, being away physically, but being with you in spirit, because those of you that know me personally, I am in spirit with you. I My heart rejoices in what you go through, but it also cries. Um, and is saddened and burned with things that you go through. Um, sometimes God just gives us a, a connection or a discernment of what we need for each other. And I'm thankful for that because it allows for a closeness and a relationship that even a lot of people that have lived next door to their neighbors for years have never ever had. So I'm thankful for the spiritual connection. Um, rejoicing as I see the disciplined and re resolute firmness of your trust in Messiah. Wow, that's a huge one. And right now I can honestly tell you, trust is a huge thing. I'm being grown in it right now. Um, faith, remembering, being quick to respond when the enemy comes and says, um, whispers something or puts a thought out there that I'm not good enough, or we're not gonna make it, or why did we do this? Um, because sometimes the actions that, the, that we're led to do or the, that we're led to take don't measure up according to the world system. 
um, but they do measure up according to God's and I have to be in communion with him and relationship to know that when he's asking us to do something that doesn't measure up in the world system I have to know that it is him that's asking and that he's the one that's leading or telling us to do it um, and that takes trust because even when you know that you know that you know that you're doing what you're supposed to do when things um, don't measure up in the world system sometimes it can really bring some challenges especially if you're tired or run down or stretched or haven't got enough sunshine s-u-n and s-o-n um, so it's important to stay firm in your trust stay firm that when you say yes this is why in my in recently we talked about saying yes when you say yes to something you've got to know that you're saying yes because you're supposed to say yes don't say yes until you can come up with the reason for no it should be a no until you come up with why you're supposed to say yes because you've got to know when you're walking out that yes that God is the one that led you to do it and that asked you to do it um, because he then will provide in every way shape or form he has already got you set up for success because he's not going to ask you to do something that he is going to um, that you're gonna fail in so you just have to have that trust and I'm being stretched in that so if you wanna join me in praising and declaring and decreeing that I'll take it verse 6 therefore just as you receive the Messiah Yeshua as Lord keep living your life united with him kind of like marriage I always love my husband do I like him all the time? No. Um, but that's okay, because you know what? It goes both ways. And there's a lot of times where he doesn't really like me either, but the love is there. And that is what has got us through and will continue to get us through um, the challenges and the tough times and the fun times and the not so fun times. Um, and so it's like you've got, you've got to be deeply rooted in God. Because even if you don't like yourself, God does. Even if you don't love yourself, God does. And there are days you just have to cling to the fact that He loves you. He likes you. Because He can see you in a greater degree than you yourself. Especially if you have lies or expectations and things that were put into your head um, that aren't you, that aren't truth, and you're in the process of getting rid of them, or you're you're needing to be in the process of cleaning that out. Um, you've got to be able to know who God says you are and cling to that and trust Him and stand firm, firmly rooted in who He says you are. It says, remain deeply rooted in Him, continuing being built up in Him and confirmed in your trust. Well, how do you get built up? By feeding yourself. How do you feed yourself? Praise and worship. Um, being in the Word, fellowshipping with other like-minded believers. Um, actually, it's still a little crispy outside today, but I'm going to take my praise music, and I'm going to take my flags or scarves, and I'm going to go outside, and I am going to soak up some sunshine in His beautiful weather and this beauty that He created for us, and I'm going to be doing some praise, um, praise dancing and laying my heart out there for him, giving him the, the things that are on my heart, the concerns, the challenges, um, I'm gonna give them to him. And that's all my plans for today. Uh, let's see. The way you were taught so that you overflow in Thanksgiving. Okay, well, some of you may be saying, I wasn't taught this. I wasn't raised in a Christian home or I wasn't, I was raised in a bad situation. Okay, well that's in your past. And the way you were taught is what you get by getting into the word, where you're getting your feeding, where you're getting your teaching. It's make sure it's a Bible based church. Make sure they're teaching from the word, not from other people's books that wrote something that they interpreted from the word. Get it straight from the Word. Get it straight from God. But that is where your teaching comes from. And maybe your teaching just started yesterday. Maybe your teaching just started today. It's okay. That is what you stay firmed in, what you're being taught. And you will overflow with Thanksgiving. Um, I, I can't even explain 
even in the darkest of times and the in the the trials just being firmly rooted and knowing the promises that God has given to you the peace that gives and the ability to be thankful and to find thanksgiving to find goodness in every single situation um, and to be able to thank those even those that are causing you conflict or causing you in causing you pain um, always be thankful there's always a reason to be thankful so let's pray this prayer right quick um, and then I am gonna go outside with my I think I'll take my flags today but I could change up and take my scarves because I got some beautiful scarves and go out and do some praise dancing and waving because I really need to get some writing done today and um, I have some meetings coming up that I want to be fully um, cleansed and free and ready to go for. So Father God, I just thank you. I thank you for this time. I thank you for your word. I thank you for the insight. I thank you for loving us so much that you bring us together, that you just wrap your arms around us because you know, you know what we need even before we know what we need. You have actually planned out our days and have things prepared for us because you know that when we choose to walk in our purpose and our calling, Father God, that you have everything ready so that we can succeed, so that we can be the best us that you created us to be. Father God, I just thank you for being with us during the challenges. I thank you for loving us and for giving us the encouragement that we need when our faith is wavering, when our trust is um, growing and being stretched. Father God, I just thank you. I thank you for your promises. I thank you that you are always truth, that you never vary, that your word never changes, that it's the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Father God, I just thank you that we can stand on those promises. I thank you that we can go and we can find the promise for the situation that we're in and we can cling to it and we can stand with it and we can use it as our sword to be able to cut through the atmospheric lies, the specious lies, like that word, Lord, thank you. The specious lies um, that can seem and appear so true, but they're not. So Father God, I just thank you and I praise you for that. I thank you for um, lifting the weight off of our shoulders and off of our hearts and taking that on. I thank you for taking the burdens that we give you and you working in those situations and having victory, Father God. Father God, I just praise you. I praise you for each one um, of us that are gathered here. I praise you for my husband, my sons. Father God, I just lift them up. I lift them up to you. I lift up my future um, daughter in loves. I, I lift up my, my current daughter in love. Um, Father God, I just pray a hedge of protection around them that's just filled with joy and peace and a confidence in knowing you, a yearning and a desire to know you and to um, stand on what you show and reveal to each one of us. Father God, thank you for being with us as we go today, as we go out into this world and we get to choose the atmosphere that we're going to create in every place that we go, um, whether we offer grace and mercy or whether we offer judgment and condemnation. Father God, we get to choose that and we know what your word says um, and we want to align with you. We want to be portals from heaven. We want people to see you reflected in us, Father God through our lives and the way that we handle situations and the way that we walk out things. Thank you, Father God, for leading us and directing us. Thank you for being that still, small voice. And thank you, too, for all the, the different signs and symbols and, and um, affirmations that you give us. Father God, I just speak blessing over each one of us today. Blessing and contentment and joy and peace and health. Thank you for loving us. Father God, we just declare and decree these things 
as it is written in your word. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Okay, guys, thanks for joining me. Um, we will talk to you later. Be blessed.